Meyer, and this is my uh, video talking about my CSL project that we had to do over the semester. So when I started the project, I had a hard time finding out where I was going to do, um, do the, the project, and I started at wanting to do it at the Boys and Girls Club in San Marcos. Um, but that didn't really end up working out, so I moved to San Marcos Elementary, and that also didn't really end up working out because a scheduling conflict happened with the teacher there. But anyway, I ended up at Marietta Valley High School, which is where I graduated from, so I thought it was a really good opportunity to go back there and also kind of <clears throat> see how things have changed also. Um, I was worried for a little while because the other locations didn't work and I was really hoping that I could get a good location before the deadline was up. But at Marietta Valley, I was working with Miss <clears throat> um, Ella Harrison and she teaches a TV digital class there and there was a large media component to it as well. So it was something I was interested in and I knew she was a good teacher from um, people people's experiences as well as um, experiences of my own, but uh, I was pretty nervous going into it uh, just because uh, I've never really been in a classroom setting kind of like that uh, as far as like being kind of like almost like the teacher's aid in a sense or like teaching your own things, and I never really considered teaching classes before having to do it for this class. Um, I was always a little judgmental of teachers and didn't really know much about them or what they had to go through every day to kind of um, keep their students focused on what they wanted and like creating lesson, lesson plans and things like that. So it was really um, kind of eye-opening to see the work that she put in, she puts in behind the scenes as well as kind of helping me realize what it takes as well. Um, she helped me, or she showed me how she was doing her warm-ups, her lesson plans, um, really everything that went into kind of teaching the class, uh, every day that, um, kind of just the inner workings of really, of what goes on behind the scenes as well as during the class um, as well. The technology aspect in her class was really huge, um, just because really her class wouldn't exist without the ability to access all the um, media programs that she uses, like Final Cut is the one that um, she was using in the class. So it really helps to have that access to the technology um, and having like the computer lab at the school and whatnot. It really uh, aids in the t for the teacher and also the students um, as well. I think the students really become accustomed and they feel really comfortable using the technology just because they're always around it anyway from school and home, really. Um, the articles that we read about digital disconnect in the classroom, it made me think about the positives and negatives of having technology in the classroom, but I would say the pros outweigh the cons only because I think the students really benefit from having the ability to access so much information at their fingertips. Um, that kind of ability was basically unheard of before our generation, and since we've grown up with it, really, it becomes a second nature to us. Um, but the disconnect is a very possible outcome. Uh, with the ability to find everything they need on the internet, it creates the idea that sometimes the internet is all they need, which isn't really the path that you want to have the students on either. Um, so it, technology is really a great opportunity, but I think it's also a privilege, and if the students can't handle it, then that's another problem that arises that a teacher would obviously have to deal uh, with. I think the project really um, taught me that teaching is really, uh, it's a very complex thing. And uh, most of the time as students, we only really see what's on the surface and not what's behind it. Uh, and it's not really appreciated by a lot of people, which is unfortunate. Uh, I think the students really enjoy learning. It just needs to be presented in a way that not only that that not only they enjoy but rather just understand um, so obviously if you can get the students to enjoy and understand it really goes hand in hand anyway and you're doing your job really well but um, the teacher I worked with was really amazing she provided me with a lot 
of information that I would never have even thought of knowing about before this. Um, and also just the fact that you uh, are able to be there when these students are learning something new for the first time, it really is a eye-opening experience that you don't really get a chance to um, be surrounded by in any other setting. So all in all, it was a, it was a really great project. Uh, I think I learned a lot from it. Well, I know I learned a lot from it. And I'm sure there will be something in the future that I will be able to apply that I took from this, and I'll be able to apply it into my real life at some point. <laughs>